What are you doing? Why you got your pants so high like that? Because I dress like a grown-up. Oh, that's how grown-ups dress. Hmm? Why? Hey, where is your shirt? <laughs> Don't be telling my business. Hey, where's your shirt? All right, hello. It is August 16th. It is Monday, 3 o'clock. Woke up, fed the brat. Cleaned up a little, let her watch some TV. Now it's time for her to take a nap. It's actually way past her nap time, but uh, she was up very early when it was time for her dad to go to work. And then she ended up going back to sleep and waking up at uh, a later time when she's normally up around that time. So she has a later nap today. So um, I got her breakfast bar back together because it was like a hot mess before like she didn't have no snacks in it I didn't refill anything like I got her little uh breakfast bar stocked and ready for her when she's ready for it um I gotta get all of these pantry items into my pantry somehow my pantry is like fully stocked and I have more stuff to put in there so I'm gonna try to make room in my pantry space in my pantry um, I'm going to try to get sewing done. I'm going to be in my office all day after I'm done putting this stuff in the pantry. And then I'm going to have to make dinner for the night. Uh, I'm going to try to let you guys see me make space in the pantry. But it's such a tight space. So y'all are going to watch me put the stuff away. And other than that for today, I, um, me and Onyx were going to go for a walk. Okay, for all of the mommies and daddies that have a toddler or a big kid that's at a stage where they want to do everything on their own and have a little more independence, this is a great idea. This is baby girl's breakfast slash snack bar. She has her bowls, her cups, her plates. She has her napkins, her eating utensils. She has two options of her cereal from a cereal dispenser. I normally have a healthier option and then an option that's loaded with sugar. Um... These are her oatmeals, her yogurts, fruit cups, pudding cups, apple sauces, and these are um, dish drying racks that I got from the Dollar Tree. She has Ziploc bags for when she wants to snack out of our pantry. She calls this her pantry because it's right next to her kitchen. And in a sense, she's correct. She has apples, peaches, bananas, oranges. These are her salty snacks. She has crackers, popcorn, her favorite, potato chips, Cheez-Its, and some other cheese crackers down here we have her granola bar she has graham crackers her little pops jumbo snacks mini muffins over here she has her tea selection she loves drinking tea that's like hibiscus and rose hip passion tea mint tea peppermint tea and her sleepy time tea that's my favorite tea she just doesn't even know um, over here we have all her water bottles and we're weaning her off of fruit juices so she calls this her favorite water. It's the little splash Nestle waters with a splash of fruit flavor. Um, and these sparkly bins, she has toys and some activities for her to do in there. This bin is all of her papers, coloring books, all of those things are in here. She has canvases in those as well. And this, this is all of her craft items, her scissors, her paint, her glue, her crayons and markers. And all of her reading and learning activities over here next to her kitchen. Baby girl woke up. We went outside for some fresh air and we saw a tree infested with mushrooms. It was quite intriguing. And this is some of the scenery from us being outside on our walk. And then the backyard is very big, so we just walked back there. And yeah, she made me draw the cast of Rugrats. That's Tommy, that's Angelica, and that's Chucky. And she's standing on herself. She included herself into the cast. <laughs> My baby is an artiste, y'all. I guess she got it from me. This is half of my grocery haul. Goodness gracious. Um, gosh. None of this is going to fit in my pantry, y'all. I got to try to make space in my pantry. Oh, oh, Lord. I'm tired. What you see before you is a plus size woman. Yet, I'm a plus size woman that's dealing with a lot of trauma. 
inflicted from these recent past two years. I had a son right after Onyx. They were supposed to be close in age. I had him. Everything was great. He passed away at two months old. So I was trying to recover from that only to find out that I got pregnant again with another son. And when it was time to give birth, it resulted into a stillbirth. So I had to leave the hospital empty handed. And a lot of this has taken a toll on my mental that incident happened about two months ago, so I'm still in my postpartum body, and I'm still struggling with postpartum depression, and that's something that I never really struggled with, but I'm realizing it's easier to overcome when you have your baby there with you to take your mind off of things, so I spiral into deep depressions from time to time, even though it seems like today is a good day. There's plenty of nights that I've cried. There's plenty of nights where I, I just want to give up. I have hard times going into public spaces because I see children around and whenever I see children it jerks at my tears it's kind of uncontrollable so I try to avoid public spaces and on top of that I'm dealing with being a stay-at-home mom feeling inadequate not good enough even though I've worked my whole adult life okay y'all so this is the pantry I just said I was putting stuff in it I did not say that I was gonna clean it today I'm just happy I got the stuff in here so I'll come in and clean it and go through it another day. Nothing is in any particular order. Everything is just put up. It's like an organized mess. I know where to find everything. When the baby and the baby daddy come in here, they get lost. But I know where everything is at. <laughs> Maybe another time I will make a video. So where I come in and clean it and you'll see everything that I have. But I got baby girl bathed and ready for bed. She was smelling like outside. I decided to cook dinner early because Big Daddy was coming home and I wasn't going to be doing a late cooking dinner. I took shortcuts, instant mashed potatoes, chicken tenders, some glory collard greens from the can. It was so yummy. And I decided that I wanted to tend to myself because I was feeling down. I decided to do some press on nails and do my makeup. And then I decided I wanted to go out to sell my merchandise. My child sprayed Febreze right here on her elephant to make it wet so she could put a diaper on it. Leave that Febreze alone. Alright, now that we got our nails in order, some cute little dick grabbers. Hey, I'm going to grab one some tonight. <laughs> Just joking. Not really. But, time to get these eyebrows in check. So... I already filled them in with my LA Girl LA Girl Brow uh, Pomade. All of this stuff is cheap stuff you could get from the beauty supply store. It's not what you use. It is how you use it. You do not need a lot of expensive stuff in order to get the same results. So, I have Medium Honey from LA Girl. I think I want my brows to be more... I think I want them to be lighter. I'm going to mix it with another color. Uh, Pro Concealer. This is a nice little brand. You can get them in any beauty supply store, but it's very inexpensive for the quality and the amount you get. I don't sweat it. When I go out, I don't have to get made up. I just decided I wanted a change and to feel better about myself. So I dolled myself up to feel better about my situation. Now back to this day at home mom ordeal. I feel like society condemns women that choose not to go into the work field and to stay home and raise their children. Especially in the black community, I feel like none of the women in my family or in my near surroundings can relate to me and what I experience and go through. So I feel alone with a lot of my issues a lot of the time. Even though I'm a stay-at-home mom, I still find ways to contribute to our income by being creative. Big Daddy allows me the space to grieve and to heal and the funds to express my creativity. I'm so appreciative for that. That's a, one of the main reasons why my garden came about and I've been sewing because I feel like I failed as a mother with those two losses of my children. And since I lost those seeds, I decided to plant seeds in my garden to love on and cultivate to replace my losses, even though it would never really. 
suffice. Working in a nightclub as a makeup artist and a house mom, I was in there day and night and the money was flowing. Money was the least of my issues. But all that changed once I started my family. I had to prioritize them first. There were more important things than money. And we just decided that it would be in better interest of our daughter for me to stay home and raise her. Plus, child care is too expensive. At the same time, I wasn't too much mad because you got to be built for it. Tough to work in that type of environment. It's a lot of negativity. I've gotten into fights while pregnant. And hip hop culture glamorizes strip clubs. And it's a lot of shenanigans that go on behind the scenes that's not brought to the knowledge of general public. I guess I'd say I really don't know nothing else because I've been in it so long. Although I haven't been sewing that long, the skills that I've acquired from me being self-taught have allowed me to keep my big toe in the door while stepping completely out of the four walls of the club. Disclaimer, you about to see some booty on duty. And when I create in my sewing room, it feels like every stitch that I make closes up every open wound from my past. It is truly my purpose and I've fallen in love and I can't wait to see what doors it opens for me in the future. If you enjoyed oh, my MG, content, like, comment, what a like, beautiful sight. It's you, it's me, your eyes delight. Baby, don't be scared because I don't bite, but miss that like button. And bitch, I might. I JK, I JK, we gonna be okay. Stick around. I'm posting content on her early day. Bowers!